And this one I'm going to show you how to convert the following here. So z, an absolute value bars equals 1. And what I want is, remember that z here is a complex number. So what does it mean to say that basically between the absolute value bars, z equals 1? I'm going to convert that into Cartesian coordinates x comma y as follows. So the first stage would be simply to replace this with x plus i y, and the whole thing is still equal to 1. That's the definition of z for x and y. Now beyond that, what I can do is apply the definition of absolute value bars for complex numbers or find the modulus, in other words. So what that says, you basically put the square root symbol, and the x becomes x squared. It's just a Pythagorean theorem, that's all it is. After that, you put the y, which is the imaginary part, you square that, and you still set that equal to 1. Notice that when you transition to here, so from here to here, do not include the i together with the y. Then after that, you can square both sides. So in other words, you can do this. You're going to do x squared plus y squared here. Okay, and square both sides this way. And also square the right side naturally enough, so it becomes this. Now at this step right here, I'm pointing basically the root and the two cancel each other this way. So that's going to leave you with x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. And this is just a unit circle, essentially. So in other words, a circle whose radius is one unit. So after that, what we're going to get is the following. I'm going to make a picture over here. All right, that's a circle, decent enough, this way and then this way. And we are here in the complex plane, so you should remember that when you look at this, this is the real axis in this context, and this is the imaginary axis in this context. And when you say that z equals 1, so this is the center of the circle, essentially, and then z... Z is an arbitrary point on the circle. So, for example, what it means is like Z could be this point right here, and then this is one unit. Or maybe Z is this point, and it's still one unit. You see, or maybe Z is this point here, and then this is still one unit. So, this says find every Z that is one unit from the origin, essentially. That's what it's saying, and it's confirmed by converting to Cartesian coordinates where it says X squared plus Y squared equals 1. The reason, of course, is the following. If I wanted to be more detailed with this form of the equation, I could write x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared, and all of this is equal to 1 squared. So then the 0 here and the 0 here, those are the center coordinates. So in other words, I'm going to write it this way as an example. Okay, I will say that the x coordinate of the center is 0. That's this value right here. And the y coordinate of the center is 0. That's this value right here. And the radius is 1, which is this value right here. So this is indeed a circle. And that is it for this one. Please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in another one.